Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all had a great start to 2022. This will just be a short video on the Chinese CM401 anti-ship ballistic missile, which is the exported version of the P-12 anti-ship missile used by the PLA. So why should you care about this missile? Well, the CM401 is a short-range hypersonic missile that can be fired from warships, and at least on paper, they look very difficult to intercept. Secondly, there are certain credible reports and analysis that suggest that the Type 54 AP frigates of the Pakistan Navy, the Tugru, and her future sister ships are in fact armed with the CM-401 hypersonic missile. According to Defense News, which is based in the United States, quote, Previous reports speculated that the Type 54 AP would be armed with a supersonic anti-ship missile. However, Richard Fisher, a senior fellow at the International Assessment and Strategy Center, told Defense News that the speculation can be put aside with the unveiling of a Pakistani ship-launched ballistic missile dubbed the P-282. Imagery revealed during the commissioning of Tugru confirms that the P-282 is in fact the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CM-401 hypersonic speed capable anti-ship ballistic missile, Fisher said. The CM-401 is a short-range ballistic missile that can maneuver to avoid interception and can allegedly travel at Mach 6, unquote. Now, I don't know whether this is true or not, so I am going to wait and see. But I am presenting you guys with this alternative possibility. Now, if the Type 54 AP frigate is indeed armed with the CM-401 hypersonic weapon, this explains why we only see four missile tubes rather than the standard eight, because it is actually quite a bit larger than the YJ-12 supersonic missile. By the way, if you are unfamiliar with the Type 54 AP frigate, be sure to check out my video in the top right hand corner. Some of the information is a bit outdated. For example, the closing weapon system, the SeaWiz on the Tuguru, is actually a much improved Type 1130 SeaWiz instead of the basic Type 730. But most of the information in the video should still be correct. The CM401 is the export variant of the PLA Navy's BP-12B anti-ship ballistic missile. The missile can carry out evasive maneuvering at hypersonic speed and has a lot of kinetic energy upon impact simply because of how fast it is traveling and this is in addition to the explosives carried inside the warhead. According to the state's own company that produces the missile, it has quote, strong damage capability and strong penetration capability." Unquote. I don't see any reason to doubt that. As an aside, the BP-12B is the latest edition in a long line of Chinese short-range ballistic missile development, going all the way back to 2004. The first missiles of this type were developed for use by the PLA in ground-based warfare to act as long-range rocket artillery. But it was only a matter of time before the anti-shipping versions were developed. They are intended to carry conventional warheads for tactical use. The export version of the weapon, the CM-401, was first unveiled in the 2018 Zuhai Air Show. When the missile container was presented to the visitors, some of them actually thought that this was a box for the YJ-12 anti-ship missile. But it turned out that the container is actually larger in diameter than what is necessary to hold a YJ-12 missile. According to the information in the exhibit, the CM-401 
is a hypersonic missile with a top speed of Mach 6. This surpasses the speed of practically all the anti-ship tactical missiles in active service throughout the world. The CM-401 adopts a near-space flight trajectory and a low-altitude terminal trajectory. A variety of ballistic flight combinations enhance the missile's penetration capability. This combination of hypersonic speed and unpredictable trajectory makes the missile very difficult to intercept with the existing air defense technology. Chinese experts believe that the current surface-to-air missiles on the United States Navy destroyers, such as the Standard 3 and the Standard 6 SAMs, are going to struggle in a major way to intercept the CM-401. The range of the PLA version of the missile is believed to be somewhere well north of 400 kilometers. However, according to globalsecurity.org, the range of the exported CM-401 is officially limited to 300 kilometers because of the missile technology control regime that China is a part of. The China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation is likely to have made modifications to limit the range of the weapon. But let's just say that I don't think anyone will feel all that safe even when well out of the official firing range. The CM-401 is guided by a radar seeker that can track surface ships or it can use synthetic aperture to image the ground to attack land facilities such as ports. This allows the warhead to attack large and relatively slow moving targets such as aircraft carriers and other major surface warships, and also logistics ships. If the CM-401 is in fact installed on the Pakistan Navy's Type 54 AP frigates, this, this would massively increase their offensive firepower. In fact, to have four or potentially six frigates armed with hypersonic missiles will provide a game-changing capability to destroy much larger enemy ships, such as destroyers. In fact, the CM-401 poses a very real and credible threat to the aircraft carriers of the Indian Navy, even if they are well escorted by, say, Kolkata-class destroyers, which I don't believe can actually shoot down hypersonic missiles. This means that an opposing carrier group may choose to operate quite far away from Pakistan's coastlines as a result, to avoid being endangered by the country's new hypersonic weapons. The CM-401 also has a secondary land attack function, which can of course be used to target enemy naval bases and port facilities, and also to support allied ground forces that are engaged in land combat within range of the missile. We should assume that, over time, other countries that are friendly to China, or are otherwise willing to do arms deals, will show greater and greater interest in purchasing the CM-401. Like Pakistan, these countries will be keen to improve their maritime deterrent and to gain a qualitative edge over any potential adversary. So that is all from me on the CM-401 anti-ship ballistic missile that may be present on the Tugu-class frigate. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.